at Princeton University to dedicate a new home for the Woodrow Wilson School of Public and International Affairs, President Johnson is also honored in his own right. He is awarded an honorary Doctor of Laws degree. The dedication speech is made an occasion by the chief executive to appeal to scholars to back his war efforts, also to answer critics of his administration's Vietnam policy. The exercise of power in this century has meant for all of us in the United States not arrogance, but agony. We have used our power, not willingly and recklessly, ever, but always reluctantly and with restraint. Surely it is not a paranoid vision of America's place in the world to recognize that freedom is still indivisible, still has adversaries whose challenge must be answered, Today, of course, as we meet here, that challenge is sternest at the moment in Southeast Asia. Yet there, as elsewhere, our great power is also tempered by a great restraint. What nation has announced such limited objectives or such willingness to remove its military presence once those objectives are secured and achieved. What nation has spent the lives of its sons and vast sums of its fortune to provide the people of a small, striving country the chance to elect a course that we might not ourselves choose?